testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome uh, to another episode of Quick Hits. We're going to do an interesting show today. We're just going to touch on the uh, state of the heavyweight division. That's it. We're going to talk about the heavyweight division, um, what it looks like. Uh, they say as goes the heavyweight division, as goes boxing. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, te- uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please follow us on all forms of social media. Uh, also, Texas Boxing Scene is the uh, other channel on uh, YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery, and it's completely dedicated to uh, Texas Boxing. I'll be in the Rio Grande Valley this weekend uh, for a card out there. Uh, but let me get into uh, today's show. All right, big news coming out of uh, – well, all right, let's get into today's show. But we'll get to that later. Um. They say as goes the heavyweight division, goes boxing. Um, I got to tell you, I have not seen a more talented heavyweight division. I don't think, you know, not not just at the top. And we're going to get into all the names. But I, I don't think I've seen a more talented heavyweight division in my lifetime. And I mean that, right? Like, I think you have two good champions who are now former champions in Wilder and Joshua. Two good champions. Uh, and I think you have two guys who are all-time great heavyweights. Now, whether or not they reach that status depends on how long they want to fight, right? But Usyk and Fury could be top 20 heavyweights of all time, easily. Fury probably already is. Usyk is, is – is, is if he beats Fury, he jumps in the mix as well. Um, you know, I think Usyk is the class of the division. Uh, I think he's a great boxer who is right now a heavyweight. And he's going to take care of all those guys. He's going to dominate and he's going to win. And he's going to UD 12 everyone. He could eventually get knocked out because that's the way the heavyweight division works. If you don't, you know, it's kind of kill or be killed, destroy or be destroyed. If he's not going to knock people out, <clears throat> he's eventually going to get knocked out. It doesn't mean he's not a good fighter. It's just, that's, it's the heavyweight division. People can hit. Everyone can hit. Um, so you're going to have to knock people out or you're eventually going to get knocked out. Um, Fury, 6'9", that kind of hand speed, that kind of boxing skills, he's a unicorn. Um, I, I don't think he has enough to beat uh, to beat Usyk, but he is a phenomenal. So I, I really think, like, if you just lined him up, put him in a tournament, Usyk, you know, if you, you took the 16 greatest heavyweight champions of all time, I think Usyk and Fury do really, really well in that tournament. Um, you know, are they going to have the resume? to really make that claim with the all-time greats. Uh, that depends. You know, that's yet to be seen. It doesn't seem that way. It seems like both of them are near the end. You know, Usyk is 35. You know, how many legacy fights? If he can't get Fury, does he really have? What does Wilder do for him? I mean, he's a promotional free agent. Does beating Ruiz do anything for him? You know, so those are the names. And then after that, just a step below that, which I would say the very good heavyweight champions, right, um, are, are Wilder and Joshua. Um, and then now we go down the list, and you know, we have really, really good prospects. I'm going to give you the top three, and we're going to move down from there, right? You have Frank Sanchez, the Cuban. Um, Jared Big Baby Anderson, who's probably the best. Right? He's pr- Jared Anderson is probably the, the, the best prospect. I don't know if he gets to a title first. Sanchez seems closer, but Anderson certainly has the higher ceiling. Uh, then after that, you have Bakadar Jalalov, the, 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 the huge, massive Russian uh, that we saw on Showbox back in June. Um, perfect record, gold medalist, big power. I'd uh, like to see him get a little more aggressive. 11 0, 11 knockouts, gold medalist. I'm sorry, I, I said Russian. Uzbek, Uzbeki. He fights out of Uzbekistan. Uh, 6 7, you know. Um, and what was he? 250, 6'7, 250. Um, you know, strong as an ox, powerful, good boxing skills. Um, so those three guys should become heavyweight champions, right? Uh, you know, 
because I thought, you know, we're close to the end of this. The, the Joshua Wilder Fury, now Usyk era, we're close to the end. Um, Joshua's not all that old, but I think his time is his time at the top, I think, is done. And he had a good run. Wilder, Usyk, Fury, all at the very end of their career. Maybe one or two years left. And they can still do it at a high level, right? But I, I, you know, we're going to have this changing of the guard soon. And I, I, I think those three names, Sanchez, Jared Anderson, and Jalalov, are going to run with that crown. And, and that division is going to be in good shape because of it. Um, the heavyweight division is going to be in really, really good hands. Then uh, you have a step down from that. You have Joe Joyce. I don't think Joe Joyce is ever going to be here with him, but he will be in the picture. He's got that jab. That jab will take you around the world. He'll be in fights. I, I don't think he can beat any of those names I just give you. And then you have the guy that Joe Joyce beat, who shocked me, Daniel Dubois. Uh, I thought Dubois was the goods. I thought Dubois was ready. Um, I, I, I want to see him... Be, Fight a real world class guy again. I, I want to see what what he looks like. What Dubois does. Um, Dubois is that guy, right? Daniel Dubois is that guy. He could have been. He, he still can be. Um, you know, at twenty two, um, when he beat Gorman, he was twenty two when he beat Gorman. Right? He looked incredible. He looked. He's still only twenty five, and that's hard to believe, right? Eighteen and one, seventeen knockouts. Um, I don't even remember who went the distance. Oh, uh, Ke- Kevin Johnson uh, went the distance with him. Um, you know, another big guy, 6'5", 250, 240, big dude. Um, knockout power in, in each hand. Dynamite in each hand, we should say, right? I, I think Dubois can be on that level, but he's just missing something. I don't really know what it is. You guys want to leave it in the comments? Like, why did Dubois come up so flat in that Joe Joyce fight, right? Like, he's a better fighter than that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and comments on Dubois. But I, I think he could actually – I I still think he's better. I know he lost, so I can't say that. But he's better than Joe Joyce. I don't know what happened. Joe Joyce just jabbed, just swapped his eye, and then he kind of quit on a – took a knee. Um, so you got three all-world prospects. Joe Joyce had a very good prospect, and Dubois kind of the question mark who can be an overall prospect. Um, and then you go down, and then you still have uh, Ortiz, Parker, White, Chisor. You still have those guys in the mix for now. Very good heavyweights, right? Very good heavyweights. Oh, yeah, and then another um, – in that Joe Joyce area, I, I, I think you have Joe Harris, the, the uh, Dominican heavyweight who fights out of the Bronx, New York now. A really good showing on so box. Really good heavyweight. Good skills. Good speed. He seems a little small, a little short for the size, a little short for the weight class. But George Aries is a good heavyweight. Who again? I don't know that he can get to a world title. I'd like to see Aries. You know, and he may like power. But he's just not as big as the other. He's five eleven, right? Um, you know, two twenty, two twenty five. I, I I think he's basically what he weighs. Um, a little undersized for the division. Um, I don't know if he can make cruise away, but if you're going to say heavyweight, I think he can be competitive. I don't know that he can win a world title, uh, but he, I, I'd like to see him fight Joe Joyce. I honestly would. I think that would be a real interesting fight. Um, so put him in that as well. And then you have, you know, your list of perennial guys, right? Like Luis Ortiz came up short with Ruiz. He's still in the mix. Then you have Andy Ruiz, who's kind of, I think, the – he could be around for a while longer. But does, is he motivated to do it, right? So you have Ortiz Ruiz, Parker, skilled heavyweight, still not old, uh, still in his prime. And then you have the aging guys, White Tesoro. I don't know what their future holds, right? But right now, that's – you got about 15 really good heavyweights. You got about 15, right? If you go through the names, the, you, you got Usyk, Fury at the top, <clears throat> Wilder, Joshua, a step below that. You have your, your your prospects, Sanchez, Jared Anderson, Jalalov, Joyce, Dubois, Aries. And then you have your kind of elder statesman in Ortiz, Ruiz, Parker, White, and Sora. It's a really, 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 really good heavyweight division. 
like a really good heavyweight division. So if as goes boxing, as as goes heavyweight division, as goes boxing, boxing's in great shape, guys. The heavyweight division, top 15, the best I've seen it in my lifetime, top to bottom, with two great fighters at the top, two nearly really, really good fighters after that, a stable of prospects, and then some, you know, elder statesmen in the division. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of this uh, video. What do you think of the heavyweight division? Uh, please leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, it is, oh, please uh, follow Texas Boxing. Uh, please follow 3D Boxing on all social media. Please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is September 6, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.